What's going on y'all? RJ here with CV Tech and today I'm going to give y'all my thoughts of Metro PCS and the network after having them for two weeks. Now this video here will not be discussing all kinds of plans, promotion, phone prices, all that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe except for you know my phone stuff like that or whatever pops in my head as I am doing this video. Now um, I ported over my number from Cricket Wireless over to Metro. Uh, two weeks ago and basically I walked into the store uh, said I want to port over my number from Cricket uh, I want the Moto E4 they said well if you port over it's free new activation and upgrade with was $50 so I said yeah I'm porting over from Cricket so I got so I was able to get the Motorola Moto E4 and my plan for $30 out the door no more 30 bucks for the phone and plan and the number was ported over just like that. Very, very quick. Very, very painless, I guess you would say. Um, and now, how's the network been? Well, I knew going into Metro that here in my immediate area, I would have no coverage. Uh, as I've said before, T-Mobile has no coverage in my immediate area. However, I think they are working on it, though, because uh, there are times, uh, different times of the day, times of the night, It'll go from zero service to like two bars of service and LTE, making phone calls and everything, and then all of a sudden, boom, no service again. So leads me to believe by talking to T-Mobile and Metro, they are working on expansion in my area uh, for the T-Mobile network. So that's a good thing if that happens. Um, so um, pretty much my experience has been pretty good with, with Metro PCS. Um, you know, out in town, out in the city, no problems. I've uh, got service everywhere you go in the city. LTE speeds are awesome. Usually you get 80 plus download speeds, and usually in the mid 20s upload speeds. It's when you get in those backcountry areas is where you have a real big problem with Metro PCS. Um, I took several back roads, made phone calls and kept like a 10 20 minute phone call while driving down back roads. And areas where like Boost Mobile, literally don't drop out at all i was having dropouts with metro pcs you know when i hit a certain dip it would just almost it wouldn't drop a call it would just really fade out to where you couldn't hardly where you couldn't hear anything and then they'd be like hello you there and i'm like yeah i can hear you now uh it, it, it done that over and over again so that was out in the country areas and so that's where t-mobile metro struggles at the most that i've noticed if you live in the if you live out in the sticks like i do uh, or if you live in the country areas a lot, you're going to have a hard time with T-Mobile or Metro PCS. Uh, and I say T-Mobile because mainly, you know, Metro runs off of T-Mobile's towers and it's T-Mobile's doing about the tower situation. But, you know, this is about Metro, but this is just kind of telling y'all what I think and what I'm experiencing so far with the network. So, um, but other than a few dropouts here and there and, you know, them out country roads, the experience has been really good. I do have Wi-Fi calling uh, here at home, so that works out sometimes. I have used this phone like crazy the past two weeks. I have used the far out of this phone, and this phone just works and works very well. And I got to say, if you are looking for a really good phone, the Moto E4 is a really good one to buy, whether it's on the Verizon prepaid network, whether you're on Boost Mobile, whether you are on Metro, the Moto E4 is an awesome phone. And they're and they're really cheap. They're not they're not expensive at all. Um, you know how, now how's customer service? Customer service, um, you know, kind of reminded me of Cricket in a way. It could use some help. You know, um, really couldn't get a whole lot done when I called customer service a couple of times. Uh, it was pretty much just like okay, never mind. You know, I'll call back later, kind of deal. So. Uh, customer service which i mean really how often do you really need to talk to customer service anyway unless you're having a major problem with your phone and then it's just best to go into the store and have them worry about it instead of you know trying to call in and there's sometimes there's long wait times on metro pcs that i have noticed um but you know so customer service is not the greatest in the world but like i say how often do you really need to call customer service anyway unless, unless there's a big problem um so yeah there we go but overall my experience has been good with metro pcs 
you know, it is what it is. I mean, their their plans are decent. They got good phone prices. I don't know what they are in store. I don't know what the plans, the price plans are right right now. Just by you know thinking them, I can't. I have no idea. Uh, I do believe that they did up the thirty dollar plan that I'm on right now from one gigabyte to two gigabytes. Um, since I, since I started my service up, but uh, I I think that's about all I really know about the plans right now. Um, but overall experience has been pretty good. Like I said, unless you were just out in the country a lot, uh, if you're in the city mainly, you don't have any problems. And their and their download and upload speeds on their LTE network is great. I mean, they're really good. Like I said, there is places I have went where I get 10, 20 download speeds, and there's places I get 80 to 90 download speeds. It just really varies on varies and depends on where you on where you're at. So, um, you know, would I recommend Metro PCS to someone? Uh, like I said, if you live in a big city, you live in a main area, I would say go for it. But you know, if you live in a country area, definitely check your coverage out and the coverage maps. Even though a lot of times, they're now they're cut now metro now metro's coverage map is not accurate at all. My area here shows blanketed coverage, and I got no coverage at all. Um, so don't go by what T what T Mobile or Metro PCS's coverage maps say. If you live in a main city area, then I would say you know good deal um but so yeah that's just my thoughts on metro pcs after two weeks of usage on the network this was informative in any way i know it was kind of scattered i know it was kind of you know tossed here and there um but you know if this was helpful in any way hit the like button uh, any questions or comments leave it below and i'll get back with you as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed yet please do so i'd appreciate it y'all have a good one and we'll see y'all in the next video